and my topic is fiber to fabric this is sixth class third lesson now let's begin the topic everybody visit the shops to buy some clothes and the shopkeeper always show us so many times of the clothes like woolen muffler shawl silk sarees cotton suits table clothes some towels or the school bags these are made up of some fibers and when we touch them some are smooth some are very rough some are very soft and some are very fuzzy now one question arises my in my mind what these different fabrics are made up of now let's see the story of fiber to fabric which goes from fiber then yarn and then fabric let's took a cotton piece that is the fiber it mean how can we say it is fiber it is made up of small type of thin strands these are called fibers can you see the edge of this cotton piece and you can see the small pieces are there and when these pieces are spin then they are converted into yarn and these yarn different kinds of the colored yarns are are used for making the different fabrics now what kind of the fabrics are there there are different kinds of the fabrics in around some are cotton clothes some are silk chunnis or some are very very shiny and rough surface clothes and some just like the hanky cotton clothes are there now we can categorize them these two are cotton and these two are synthetic now what are cotton clothes or natural fibers and what are the synthetic fibers let us categorize them first natural fibers include cotton jute silk wool etc it include these cotton and this silk wool and some other look like just like the other uh, fibers are there and these cotton and jutes are obtained from the plants and this wool is obtained from the sheep and the hair of the rabbit yak etc and what are the synthetic fibers like these very very shiny they are very shiny cheap in rate and these fibers are made from the chemical substances which are not obtained from the plants or animals these are called synthetic fibers like polyester nylon or acrylic you can see the shining surface of this this material is also synthetic different kinds of the things are made up of but when we see the history of the cotton cotton is the only plant fiber which obtained from the fields having and what kind of the field is there having the black soil as well as the warm climate and these cotton balls it is in the form of the balls and these balls are plucked from by the farmer after maturing the cotton crops and then these fibers are separated from the seeds by combing this is called ginning process and uh, i also uh, have you seen the charkha charkha is one of the most important instrument used by mahatma gandhi and he used this uh, uh, he used this cotton piece or the cotton uh, thread to convert it into yarn to convert it into threads and threads are combined together or spin together to make the yarns from the fibers that is called spinning spinning can be done by the charkhas on the takli these are the physical, physical instruments which are used to make cotton yarns and when these yarns cotton is converted into yarns then these yarns are weaved or knitted weaving for weaving there are the two types of the uh, two yarns are used to make the loops and so that they can be converted into different fabrics but in knitting have you seen uh, your mother to knit the sweater for your father or your brother or sister then she used only the one yarn and why she used one yarn to make it because she is uh, doing knitting and knitting is used to make the sweaters and the pair of uh, socks as well as scarves now this is the story of fiber to fabric it means fiber has the small small thin strands these are called fibers cotton piece and the cotton piece are spinned into yarns and yarns is used to make fabrics thank you so much